at conclusion. So it should be a really exciting battle between the high hit points of Charizard EX. Use this hyper oh, no. early on. No! It's gone. <laughs> no! Oh no, the candies! Okay, so I guess we should mention an A spec is uh, you can only play one of them in your deck. One pink card to rule them all here, and that Hyper Roma is unfortunately stuck at the top oh, of the prize card. there's two candies up there, too. Just as we were talking about it, oh no, two rare candy there for Hayato. That is not good at all. I don't know, which which is worse, do you think? I, <laughs> Those are pretty I bad. Mean, <laughs> Golden Go operated before Hyper Roma was available, so it, it can That's continue true. on. You certainly That's could true. see all those cards, but two rare candies is very detrimental. That's going to limit a lot of Hayato's reach, especially if yeah. he doesn't reach that fourth prize card there. Uh, yeah, that is going to be tough here. We're going to have to see how that plays out uh, throughout this match. I mean, rare candy has got to be one of the most essential resources for a Charizard EX deck. So having them both in the prize cards is definitely going to be a struggle here down the line. So we'll have to see how things kick off for both of these players. I think they are all set up. We are going to get underway here in just a second in our Swiss round 10. And this is exciting, Kyle. This is our first match. You excited for it? That's right. We're going to rev up those engines because yeah. these two players are <laughs> underway soon. It's going to be really exciting to see the Golden Go trying to take down those enormous hit points. We've also got that Radiant Greninja on the other side, too. Puts that early pressure on. Could potentially uh, wreak a lot of havoc against those early Charmanders. But That's true. I see that sneaky, sneaky Manaphy in the window. Ooh, we'll have to see here. All right, we're kicking things off. We have the fist bump here between Kobe Kawasaki and Hayato Suzuki. Masters round 10, Rotom B is starting us off on our right side of the field in the active. I feel like we've been seeing Rotom in the active so frequently, but it's just going to be a bench here of that Pidgey and the Manaphy and the instant charge to pass over the turn to Kobe. This is going to be the first turn for Kobe to set things up. Yeah, obviously missing that Charmander is important. Not having that buddy buddy puff in, it's so detrimental to the initial setup. But thankfully, at least has the Pidgey, has the opportunity to potentially find that rare candy and work their way into the turn two buddy buddy puff in. Find that turn three Charizard. Yeah. But do you have the time? We know that uh, Kobe's deck is so centered around the speed, the aggression, finding all of these Pokemon exactly. and starting to rain onto the board, finding all of the evolutions and just throwing energies left and right for big knockouts. Yeah, I love decks like this where you discard the energy from your hands to do additional damage. It really is like as long as you have the energy there, you're doing a lot of damage. I guess it's infinite damage depending on how much energy you have in the deck, right? And <laughs> attached to the yeah. Pokemon. We we have 11. <laughs> well, you have to have one attached. So yes. we're, we're, you, you can you can deal 500. It's infinite up to but, that amount. <laughs> if you deal 500, that's a flex that uh, your opponent doesn't come back from. Yes, exactly. So we're going to see the usual setup here as far as our uh, Gimme Ghoul decks go. Or sorry, Golden Go. The Gimme Ghouls are what we're seeing out on the field right now. Two from the Buddy Buddy Poffin on the bench. One in the active here. And the nice little Gimme Ghoul actually has Call for Family as one of its... Uh, oh, wait, actually, this is a different Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, we, Never one, mind. we're featuring a little more hit points on this side. Terrified of the ability of that Dragapult to, to wipe out the Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, that one was only 50. I'm glad we had an additional option there. <laughs> that would be bad news. <laughs> well, we're protecting our uh, our Pokemon here today. We see that Cypher Maniac's code breaking coming into play for Kobe Kawasaki. Yeah, this is one of those cards that guarantees that Hyper Aroma if you had one. Uh, to the potential to just find that and immediately establish a full board presence, drawing all of the cards is exactly what Kobe looks for in a classic strategy. Instead now has to consider what this looks like moving into the future turns. Probably want to see Radiant Greninja and start to draw some additional resources. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised to see a Pokemon like that sitting at the top. Well, we are going to see the energy attachment here. We're seeing a coin oh, flip how many? off this Gimme Ghoul. Ooh, I saw one head. It's until you get Tails. We could okay. have seen the knockout. Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> yeah, it, it's infinite, Kyle. It's infinite. <laughs> Everything's infinite over here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does say continuous coin toss here. So That's right. That's that capitalism mindset we're looking for <laughs> from Gimme Ghoul. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this deck is very themed, that is for sure. <laughs> you got to be feeling lucky to play this one. All right, we're back over onto the right side of our field. Hayato going to be able to set things up a little bit more here with that Arvin searching out an item a card as well as a tool card. Oh, look, even the rare candies changed into their artwork they are now. Ooh, Love it. Fancy. <laughs> yeah, this is 
obviously the first deck search takes some time and yeah. starts to understand which of your prize cards are there. And I think it doesn't take too long to realize, uh oh, yeah. We're only going to evolve into a couple stage twos at this pace. <laughs> exactly. You kind of want to identify your key resources on your initial Dirk deck search as a player. And uh, those rare candies are so essential, as we said, to get into these evolutions. Nice and fast paced, uh, especially that Charizard and that Pidgeot EX as well to get those resources. So Hayato d definitely going to make sure to keep track of that. But we still have to start to set up a little bit more here. This is the second turn that we're seeing from this player. And uh, we still don't have a Charmander out just yet. But. A couple things I want to see this turn. I'd like to see Rotom moved to the bench and uh, bring one of those single prize Pokemon into the active so that you're not giving Kobe those two prize cards, which are likely to happen on the next turn. You know that uh, these Golden Go decks have the reach to take that simple knockout and deal whatever it is, 200 damage for the, for the KO there. Uh, I believe the Fire Energy is in hand, so there should be an opportunity but at this point, which Pokemon do you feel comfortable bringing into the active yeah. spot? Is it Manaphy? Uh, it's buying you that time against Radiant Greninja, uh, but then you have to evolve those Charmanders as soon as you can next turn. Exactly. Well, we're going to see that Forest Seal Stone. That is the tool card that is sought out off of that Arvin. That is going to be able to put some of the pieces together down the line. We see the Ultra Ball being played now, discarding two cards from the hand. It's going to be that Duskull as well as an Iono. Yeah, Duskull goes well with the strategy of uh, giving up that single prize early on. If you yeah. do just that, then the next two prize knockout your opponent takes leads to that 270 number. You don't need to use the Dusclops or Dusknor ability, but found that rare candy. That's one. That's <laughs> there's one. There's already two and three missing. Yep. So there's one final rare candy to ah. get the job done. And yeah, it just limits this deck so much. It makes all of your resources that much more finite. But the Pidgeot EX is an essential piece to this deck. You can use the Quick Search ability, grab anything out of your deck every single turn, and that is what's going to put these pieces together for Hayoto, especially with all of these cards in the prize cards. So we're going to see that evolution there into the Pidgeot EX, straight into the Quick Search. Now we have those two Charmander hitting the bench, thanks to that Buddy Buddy Poppin selecting those two uh, Pokemon, 70 HP or less. Charmander lined up just fine. If there's a boss's orders and you lose one of these, at least you have the opportunity to go aggressive into that next Charizard line. But what has been established at this turn? Yes, you get to promote one of these Charmanders. It's a little risky. You don't love losing that Pokemon, but uh, ultimately you're seeing plenty of cards. You should have that backup Charmander. Yeah. This isn't toward Reckliff's list. This is a three Charmander style, so should be able to replace that Pokemon on the bench next turn. Well, we just see the instant charge drawing three additional charges or <laughs> cards now. Now we're going to see this Golden Go come into play. Two of them, actually. And we're going to start this coin bonus. A couple extra cards off of that active Golden Go. And then even one on the bench here as well. So that's three additional cards to Kobe's hand. Now we're seeing the Nest Ball coming out of the hand as well to get another basic Pokemon down onto this bench. Yeah, Radiant Greninja seems like an ideal choice. The The card draw is already run out at this point, and there's plenty of energies to go along with it. So uh, you can conceal cards and draw those additional resources. Um, after that, <laughs> we need to see a supporter. And the issue is a lot of the supporters that use uh, the, the Cypher Maniac's code breaking, they require you to have some additional draw remaining. So yeah. um, perhaps in combination with a final Golden Go, you'd be okay there. That is true, Kyle. Well, the Radiant Greninja that we've been calling for is now finally out here on the bench for Kobe. We're going to see that concealed cards into two additional cards in that Palkia V, as well as another card I didn't get to see quite there in the hands. But we have a pretty thick hand so far that I'm looking at. Earthen Vessel is going to be one of those key pieces to get these energies into the hand for Kobe to be able to uh, start to stack up that damage needed on the Golden Go to start taking some knockouts. As far as prize mapping goes for both of these players, what are we going to be looking at, Kyle, for Kobe's strategy versus Hayato? Well, I mean, Kobe it looks like he's going to take what he can at this point. If, you, if you'll give me a Charmander, uh, that seems fine. You need to continue to draw prize cards. There is always that possibility of some reach if we ever do see uh, the origin form Palkia V onto the board. Maybe some energies are extended onto that Radiant Greninja. You can see that in combination with the uh, canceling Cologne and the Manaphy to take a surprise couple knockouts. But ultimately, 
Uh, big one-shot knockouts on Charizards is going to be the name of the game, and that requires a lot of resources. Yeah, it is going to be a lot of resources uh, for sure. We've seen that with our Golden Go decks. They kind of start to burn out toward the end of these games, trying to line up those end uh, resources to get those last couple of prize cards. But hopefully, Kobe's specific list for this event is consistent enough to bring us through. That Charmander went down. That's one prize card here for Kobe. The back foot now for the Charizard EX, um, but that's what it likes working with. It unlocks a lot of cards once you're down a prize card there. We're going to start off with the Nest Ball here on this turn for Hayato. Yeah, clearly already has the Charmander, and at this point, you start to weigh the risk versus reward. Does the final rare candy need to be committed this turn? Can you slow down and evolve into a Charmeleon, try to take a turn? You know that it starts to get a little risky, and as the prize cards start to fall, maybe Radiant Charizard's a good line to go down. Yeah, it's going to join the bench now off of that Nest Ball. It's going to be set up for later. I mean, I guess that's what you have when you don't have access to all your rare candies. You need some backup plans, right, Kyle? <laughs> yeah, we need some help over here. It's not looking great. Well, I'm sure the, the heart is definitely feeling excited here from that Radiant Charizard. Getting played down, potentially getting some knockouts here down the line for Hayato. Super Rod can be played as well now. It's wild to see how slim this discard pile really is, but Charmander and a Fire Energy going back into the deck now here from that Super Rod. Buddy Buddy Poffin's gonna draw that right back out onto the field. Now we have a full bench here to Charmander down. Radiant Charizard as an alternate attacker here. Instant Charge, it, charge is still able to draw some cards. And uh, let's see if we can put the pieces together now. Defiance Ban, which has been unlocked. Now that we're down in the prize cards here, being sought out off that uh, tool card selection, and the rare candy is that last piece needed here from the item card off the Arvin. Yeah, the Defiance Ban doesn't exactly hit the numbers you're looking for just yet, but if another single prize is taken, then perhaps you can reach uh, that 270 mark. That would be a knockout on the Golden Go. But now the question. <laughs> it looks like it's being answered. Final rare candy being played down, unless the prize cards can be helpful here. All of the pieces of the puzzle uh, are found till very early. Yep, here we go. We have the fire energy being drawn out off of that Charizard EX ability, Infernal Rain. Three energy cards from the deck. Two of them are going to be going on to this Radiant Charizard, one onto the Charizard EX. We still have access to that Forest Seal Stone that's going to be played now. The flip of the V-Star marker, any single card is being drawn from the deck here now to put together the rest of these pieces. We've already utilized the quick search off that Pidgeot EX for the turn as well. Yeah, I wasn't able to see, is this uh, like the list that features the double turbo energy? If so, Radiant Charizard is ready to work yeah. its way in the mix, and that is the card that featured. Is. That is a sneaky way to start to get aggressive here in this matchup. I like that a lot, Kyle. Yeah, that Excited Heart ability does um, subtract some energy for you, but only as your opponent starts to take those prize cards. And it is a high energy cost move, that is for sure. But thanks to that double turbo, that's two energy there. It's going to be a little bit of a, of a debuff in damage, but we have all of the essentials needed. Radiant Charizard is going to take the first a knockout here for Hayato. Oh. Wow, was that a Pheasant Dippity top deck right after a knockout? That wow. has to feel pretty nice for, for Kobe. Was not expecting to see his Golden Go fall this early, but of course the weakness following along with that Radiant Charizard takes the big KO on the Golden Go. And I mean, Kobe just doesn't have that setup that he's looking for typically. Plenty of Golden Go just drawing, drawing, finding resources, drawing into energies and taking knockouts. This is still a bit of the setup portion of the game, and we need to be attacking here. I know, yeah. I mean, maybe Kobe is like, oh, well, it's cool that this Charizard is uh, dark typing now, thanks to the Terra, but that Radiant Charizard is also featured in the deck, and that plays perfectly uh, into that weakness there. So Kobe having to recover now. Just took the single knockout on the Charmander and is now having to set back up. And that's where it can get a little dicey here in these later turns, Kyle. Like you said, this deck goes really aggressive very early on. You're trying to get those early knockouts, kind of debilitate your opponent. But when you're facing down a Charizard EX deck that has already been heavily set up here, despite having two rare candies in the prize cards, I mean, you're, you're not looking too good. 
being Kobe. Yeah, the benefit here that we see the Radiant Charizard was used little early in this spot, and if you do take the knockout here, tied at four to four prize cards, yeah. actually is very beneficial to Kobe. A Burning Darkness only dealing 240. The Defiance Band is not available to deal the additional damage for a knockout, so Golden Goal is actually pretty well protected at that point. It would require a lot of help, uh, more acceleration, and probably that final rare candy, but uh, yeah. those are sitting in the prize cards. <laughs> the, yeah. the energies are stuck at this point. 260 is kind of an interesting HP amount that we don't usually see, I feel. Pheasantipity, as you said, was the top deck here. It's going to be utilized to draw those additional cards here. One of those was, I believe, that Pokestop coming into play. Going to net us a Night Stretcher yeah. into the hand, that brand new card from Shrouded Fable. Unless this Pokemon was necessary, the drawing of the Pheasantipity, I don't know if that's the best line here because you've opened up your opponent to find a two prize knockout with simply an energy and a boss's orders. And they have Pidgeot in play, quick searching for anything. That Pheasantipity is two easy prize cards and it leads to a final Burning Darkness for knockout on any of these Golden Ghosts once we get to that later stage of the game. That is very true, Kyle. It's sort of uh, set that prize mapping up perfectly there for Hauto, so we're going to have to see how things work out here. But that Palkia B is also going to join the bench here now. That Night Stretcher coming into play. We're seeing the energy being discarded from the hands now from Kobe to get that knockout on the Radiant Charizard. An additional prize card being chosen off. Uh, the, the prize cards now we're up to 4-4 four, four between both of these players tying up the match. But like you said, we're starting to see the uh, prize mapping come into play for Hayoto. Yeah, we've already seen four fire energies, I believe. I don't think any are in the prize cards there, it looks like. So oh, actually the last one is in hand, <laughs> sure enough. So plenty of uh, firepower to work with here. It's just the boss's orders that's missing, but of course you have that quick search. And now you start to plan out the rest of this game. Is it important to close out on the Pheasantipity and avoid the additional draw? Are you intimidated by the ability of that Origin form Palkia B star to accelerate energies and work in a knockout with the Radiant Greninja you're not prepared for. A lot of lines that you have to consider. A lot of lines. I think we're seeing that hesitation there because these are very difficult decisions here. So that is what we're seeing. This is did the you, hand right now. Did you take a look at that? The A spec is actually Hero's Cape here. We were so used to seeing a bunch of different. Uh, resource of the prime catchers. Yeah, that's the and, usual. But the, sure enough, the hit points, that could be pretty good here. That's a lot of reach for Kobe to take knockouts. I was about to say, I feel like sometimes Golden Go is already reaching just to get to those damage, uh, the damage amount needed for a Charizard EX. Uh, but yeah, that hero's cape would be huge here. So I <laughs> I'm surprised by that. Did you also see the Thornton in there as well, Kyle? Oh, yeah, this, uh, <laughs> the Thornton is so great. It's, it's such a fantastic surprise when uh, a Manaphy turns into Charmander Rare Candy Charizard yeah. when they think that they got rid of your final resource to attack. Exactly. It could lead to some very cool plays here. We're going to roll the Pokestop Ooh, here. We're go gamers now. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think Charizard is supposed to do that, <laughs> but that yeah. worked out perfectly. Hey, when you when you have it available, I guess sometimes you take that chance. Ultra Ball that was just drawn from the Pokestop there being an item card is going to be played now, discarding that Defiance Band as well as an Iono to it to get another Pokemon out of the deck. It's going to be that Pheasantipity EX. Yeah, at this point, feed your opponent those prize cards if you can. You know that this is a two-turn window if you are Hayato. Uh, great opportunity here in front of you, just as long as you continue to draw as many cards as you can and keep that Pidgeot around. Should well, be able to take two more EX knockouts. Look at this hand. We flipped the script into, I think it was a Charmander, Boss's Orders, and a Counter Catcher as well. There are so many resources in the hands here. The Buddy Buddy Poppin even bringing out the Bidoof onto the bench as well. So we're going to see some additional setup here that little Bidoof. We have a full bench now of Pokemon all helping in this strategy here for Hayato. Yeah, and of course the strategies once more, just uh, make sure that you are Iono proof here. You have the Charmeleon down. It's just a Charizard away. A Super Rod gets you so uh, all the all the Ooh. cards you need, all the resources lined back up. The boss's orders is there. The easy knockout on a Pokemon that can't, uh, won't be evolving now so that yeah. the Pheasantipity is around 
if your opponent doesn't even take a prize card next turn. Hayato was thinking of every single level, and he's checking all the boxes. Checking all the boxes, including that knockout there, the Palkia V that was just benched down, going down. That's two additional prize cards here. And then just two more to close out this game. Also getting one of those rare candy out. But, I mean, we already have the Charmeleon down, ready to go for the next turn. There's still a fully uh, healthy 330 HP Charizard EX in the active as well. And Kobe Kawasaki is just trying to piece things together in this turn after that knockout. Let's see what we can uh, have. I mean, there's a pretty large hand there to be able to recover some resources. Yeah, it, it seems like the potential to knock out the Charizard would be there. But afterwards, yeah, what's you, the game plan? You know your opponent is <laughs> holding 75 cards in that hand. That's yeah. <laughs> not a legal amount, but it's plenty to take a knockout next turn. Well, we're going to see some extra draw here first from Kobe off that Fezidipity EX helping out. We've already used both of those coin bonus as well for three additional. That's six new cards plus whatever was drawn off the Pokestop as well to this hand. All the resources needed here. We're going to see that superior energy retrieval. Two discards to get those uh, up to four energy out of your discard pile into Kobe's hands. That's a perfect card that plays into this deck. One of the main reasons it functions, you want to get those energy back to take these giant knockouts once again off of that making it rain. Ooh, Kyle, one, we are two, making three, four, it five, rain six, here. Seven. <laughs> seven energy taking out that healthy Charizard EX. And it is wiped off the board here by Kobe. That's two prize cards down, but are we going to be able to close out this game, Kyle? Well, this nest ball is not very important, but it does tell Hayato everything that they need to know about what is going on in the deck. And if Pidgeot's able to search out the right pieces, it looks like that Super Rod is probably one of the important ones, as that leads to the energies required to take the knockout with that Charizard EX. Charizard already in hand, Luminion searching out the Arvin, I believe, and that yeah. should line up all of the pieces. I, I think guess. Kobe sees the writing on the wall. I love the composure here, taking it nice and steady, lining everything up, and look how neat it is as well. Yeah, this Just is so neat. Also. Classy <laughs> gameplay coming <laughs> oh, down here. Yeah, Kobe sees everything that's being laid out here. That is going to be our first game between these players. And Hayato taking things down with Charizard EX. Well, Kyle, we didn't get to see any uh, any Dustclops, Dustnor action, but hey, that was just some nice, clean gameplay from a couple of Charizards. Yeah, the Radiant Charizard with that double turbo inclusion is such a unique strategy that we've seen a few players start to implement here. It's You don't think to use that Pokemon early, but ultimately incorporating some single prize Pokemon into the mix when Kobe's not expecting really throws off the gameplay. And yeah. uh, also just that initial setup from Kobe is just a bit unfortunate. We can take a look here as our players showed us what they had going into game number one. Early knockout, but the board a bit lackluster. Yeah, exactly. We lost that Charmander, but there was a backup one, and that's so important to get all of those Pokemon out nice and early to be able to have some backup plants there. Radiant Charizard coming down with the double turbo to get that knockout. Was knocked out immediately right away, but that was just one prize card down for Kobe Kawasaki. And then Hayato was able to recapitalize on this game, taking out that Palkia V, those vulnerable prize cards going down there from Kobe's side. And that led to really just being one step ahead in the turns here. We were down to just uh, two prize cards each, and Hayato was able to take things down this next turn, put all the resources together uh, for the end of this game. Yeah, not sure if all the resources were there for Kobe, but looked like the superior energy retrieval already was in hand uh, by the time the Pheasantipity was benched. And at that point, you play down the Palkia, you say, you know what, maybe you've prized some bosses, some super yeah. odds. I need to play to those unique odds at this point in yeah. order to take a victory. Exactly. We have uh, some interesting, unique versions of these decks here where, you know, the Charizard EX players sort of searching out these resources with the Arvin, selecting them from the deck with the Pidgeot EX, with the Forest Seal Stone. Kobe Kawasaki is just drawing cards and having a good time over there on the left side. We're kicking off this game too. Kobe down a game. Going to have to pick things you, up here. You but need look to at adjust that. that statement. I don't no. think he's having a good time. 
No, no. yeah. Uh, I spoke too soon oh. there, Kyle. Spoke way too oh, soon. No. We just see that Gimme Ghoul up in the active position with one energy attached to it, and it's a pass over to Hayato now, kicking off this turn. Fez and Dippity EX in the active, but we're going to set up this uh, Road of V with a Nest Ball on the bench, and this is the second turn as well, which gives us access to a supporter for Hayato as well if it's uh, in the hand. I don't think Hayato could be any more comfortable in yeah. this exact spot. My goodness, looking down on the other side, simply just that gimme ghoul, but woo was that the top Whoa. deck? It had to be Buddy Buddy Poffin in yeah. the mix now. That is what you want to see here. It got a little dicey there, Kyle, but we're able to reestablish here thanks to that Buddy Buddy Poppin feeding our little gimme ghouls. They're out on the bench now, too. Uh, on the bench, one in the active as well. And so we're going to be able to see the evolution now into that Golden Go EX. This is going crazy. <laughs> Look at Ayato's side. There was no additional play after that. Yeah. It was Nest Ball, draw cards with Rotom, and we're stuck at this point. And is that, that the Hyper Room of Find Out the Poke is up? All right. I like to see it here, Kyle. We saw the coin bonus, two additional cards. Pokestop netted us some cards into the hand as well. We're stacking up this hand here for Kobe Kawasaki. Lots of play, just debating what to do. Uh, yeah. Next here is just going to be that energy discard for some damage yep. onto that Fezzidipi. Simply soften up this Pokemon here. Two energies in the discard pile, superior in the hand. Clearly, with that Hyperoma, should have an opportunity to draw into more Golden Go. And you know what? <laughs> We're spinning the wheel over here, and it leads to Buddy Buddy Poffin. This has been working out fairly well. I was about to say, I mean, Buddy Buddy Poffin, I think, has been one of our MVP cards for this entire weekend. It, uh, it just plays so well into these evolution Remember decks. Remember when this was Battle VIP Pass and everybody yeah. would just cry? Yes, I do. <laughs> I sure do. But that Buddy Buddy Poffin for both of our players working out here. Hayato going to search through the deck first off. Uh, Fezzendipity did take that 50 damage from that Golden Go. Just one discard into the discard pile, and now we're getting that initial deck search. Yeah, even the discard was pretty solid from the Pokestop. The Barrel with the Bidoof in the prize cards, the fire energy that you can bring right back with yeah. the Super Rod. All the resources are just doing their job at this point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pidgey going to come down. Charmander, we're seeing the bench be set up here for, for Hayato. Uh, would you roll the Pokestop, Kyle? Would you? I mean, he did. He, I know, but would but, you as a player? Uh, if I don't have Buddy Buddy Poppin', I certainly would. <laughs> what, did you see the hands? Like, I, what else was I, there? I haven't seen it just yet, but I gotcha. don't think that it's gotten oh, very it's far. It's like Professor supporters. Turo. And, yeah. I mean, this is still not very strong. Oh, those are all, like, pretty late game cards there. I don't know if there's going to be a late game. Uh, Yeah, we'll have to see here, Kyle. It's just going to be another instant charge into three additional draws here. Charizard Force EX. Seal. I think it was a four Seal Stone and an Energy, I believe, as well. Yep, so, so many cards. some additional pieces to help out here, but... I guess the saving grace on this side for Hayato is there's no Palkia V, so you don't True. see the acceleration onto the Radiant Greninja to take a double knockout on Charmander and Pidgey. The problem Ooh, is Hyper Aroma's coming to town, and Golden Goes are going to be flying around. It's very likely to see Boss's Orders <sighs> knockout. Look at that. The double evolution here on the bench. Those are all 260 HP Golden Go, and they're drawing a lot of cards here. Coin bonus on the bench twice, one in the active as well. This is how this deck functions. It just draws you a ton of cards. It has all of the necessary resources to be able to recycle those energies and then take huge knockouts with some make it rain action. 50 damage for each energy card discarded from the hands for Kobe. So that's what we're seeing aligned here now, just trying to put on this pressure and start taking these knockouts and getting that leg up against Charizard. Yeah, Kobe is back home now. He's feeling very comfortable. Uh, cards are flying left and right, and it's leading to all the right resources. Radiant Greninja looking for a bailout button here to help out a little more. Pokemon cards. Catcher. Ooh, can we see some more coin flips here, Kyle? We saw it on the Gimme Ghoul. I mean, at this point, we'll find out Let's what the go. strategy is. Can it be a heads or a tails? Woo! <gasps> we got the heads. That Charmander oh. being brought into the active position here. The vulnerable little Char Charmander. Uh, never going to make it into a Charizard EX. Sorry, little buddy. You're in the discard pile now. That's one prize card here for Kobe. But just even though it's one prize card, that is a huge card to go down here because 
uh, unlike we saw in game one, Hayato does not have that backup Charmander down just yet. So we're going to have to see where this turn goes now. There's a huge hand, but all uh, later game resources, as we saw. Let's see what uh, these draws can get for this turn coming up. Yeah, I mean, Kobe sees throw the prize map Ooh, out the window at this point. Again. It's not worth going for. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. What is this card do? <laughs> can I reread Pokestop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it nets you two rare candy. That's, that's what it did that's just crap. now, Kyle. Two rare candy and a buddy buddy poffin as well. That is huge for Hayato to have drawn off that pokey stop. Now we're going to see these evolutions start coming into play. That Pidgeot EX in the active position now with that quick search ability unlocked. We are rolling now, Kyle. I, it, this We're isn't flying, over actually. either. There's Thornton potential. <laughs> They're true. We could see all sorts of surprises. That is true. I love the Thornton because it is it is that spicy inclusion where you can kind of surprise your opponent there when they think they have a lead. Oh, Thornton, uh, now I can evolve and knock you out right away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if this is the right time. Of course, the pressure that you can put on Kobe seems pretty strong, but... If that Pokemon is knocked out, oh boy, are we in trouble. Yes, that is very true. Ultra Ball going to be played down here for Fire Energy and a Buddy Buddy Poffin going to the Ultra Ball. That's any Pokemon being drawn out. We see that Radiant Charizard once again. We saw it in Game 1. We're going to see it here in Game 2 now being utilized. It's going to the hands now for Hayato. And there's still a ton of cards here. I think here this is going to happen. I, <laughs> With the Forest Sealstone in hand, there's... I think the ability with Thornton, Rare Candy, Charizard, Search the Double Turbo, uh, Radiant Charizard leads right into the knockout here. Woo! Radiant Charizard once more says, I will not be stopped. Yeah. Turn two, turn three, whatever, I'm coming to town. Yeah, yeah, I love that Double Turbo in the deck to be able to make those plays happen. Golden Go, things are about to start heating up for you a little bit because Radiant Charizard is a fire type, unlike that Terra Charizard EX. And we're going to see some, some action here, potentially. Forest Sealstone is also coming into play as well for Hayato. It's going to be used. To, uh, I think we're still selecting the card. Are, are all the pieces there? I guess that's super the next rod. question. I'm not seeing double turbo anywhere now. Ooh. So it's super rod is looked at as the inclusion now. Uh, it's going to be, uh, yeah, Super Rod from the Forest Seal Stone. Buddy Buddy Poffin, this is the second one. One was discarded to the Ultra Ball, but that's all right because we have another one to bring out this Manaphy as well as the Charmander onto the bench now. Reestablish these Pokemon, Radiant Charizard. Join in the bunch and look at this, Kyle. We have the Thornton. Kobe's like, oh, uh, the yeah. Thornton play. Yep, the classic Forest Seal Stone Charmander. Yep, I've been here. <laughs> For Seal Stone Charmander. That is so funny. I never even thought about that. You use the Forest Seal Stone on that Rotom, but then Thornton brings out the Charmander instead into play. It can instantly evolve here into that Charizard EX thanks to the rare candy that was drawn off of the Pokestop. Now we're seeing these energy come down off of the Infernal Rain on that Charizard EX. I mean, I cannot believe this turn, Kyle. It is <laughs> all there. It was hiding in the hand. <laughs> Who's really making it rain? Hayato with the fantastic moves. Radiant Charizard That's gonna bananas. be taking these two prize cards out of nowhere. I cannot believe that, Kyle. Radiant Charizard, that fire type Charizard in this deck, gonna take two prize cards off that Golden Go. And Kobe, I mean, all you could see Kobe would do was smile like, oh. It's like Thornton's coming out. Cool. Man, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's happening to you, but it is such a cool play. So Kobe, fantastic sport, super cool person. Going to continue through this turn here. We still have two Golden Go ready to Golden Go here, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> we need to giddy up pretty soon. We are in that dangerous spot once more. The knockout needs to be found, but also avoid benching. The big guys, no more EXs under 240. It can't happen this time around. If you fall into that boss trap again, there is no way to come back from the ability of that Pidgeot Quick Search, finding bosses' orders, chaining together knockouts. Kobe just cannot compete with that. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to see what pieces are able to be brought together here. We're seeing that superior energy retrieval. Retrieval, that is one card here for Kobe. We're going to have to see some discards for it. 
but these energy are going to start coming back out. One of them actually is going to be an energy discarded. Well, you can't grab that one, but we're fine. There's plenty more yeah. to go. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, how many? That's like a majority of the energy already in the discard pile, I think, for Kobe. En enough to knock out a Charizard EX. Yeah. We're certainly lined for up sure. at this point. Well, Silene. Oh, ooh. boy. Come on, at least one. Oh, no. two tails on the Silene. Rendering it absolutely useless, unfortunately. Supporters that do nothing, stadiums <laughs> that draw three for your opponent. Yeah. What's going on with this deck? We're working against ourselves here at this point. Well, Kobe is going to be able to secure the knockout on the Radiant Charizard at a very minimum. But now that Golden Go EX is up in the active position, Hayato has already established so much on the bench here for, uh, for this turn. We're going to have to see where this goes from here, but it is looking very similar to our game one that we saw between these players. Yeah, this is the, the difference that we see here. Boss's orders does not lead to two prize cards. Attacking into the Golden Go does not feel great. Super Rod has already been used, so uh, the ex uh, extension to find another rare candy Charizard, Radiant Charizard, just doesn't seem realistic. Yeah. You set up a surprise. Duskull into Dusclops on the following turn. We could remove the Golden Go from play after you attack into it. We could see a four prize turn, and I don't know if Kobe can do anything about this. Are we going to see it for the first time, Kyle? I know you've been waiting for this. That's right. We love a little ritual, but it's going to take a turn, so uh, yes, it is. We'll, we'll hang on. We'll hang on just a little bit here, but... For now, we have this Charizard EX joining us in the active position, fully loaded up with those two fire energy required for some burning darkness action here on this Golden Go. Unfortunately, it's a terror type. It's not It's not fire type this time around. It does have fire energy, but it's not dealing any sort of weakness here. Not going to be able to get the knockout there on that Golden Go EX. It is surviving another turn there for Kobe. There is in the The Turo going to pick that Golden Go right back up again. It's going back into the hand, and Kobe has some recovery here for this turn. I didn't see if we got the, uh, the additional... Uh, coin bonus to continue to draw. It's yeah. one of my favorite things to do with this deck. Just draw, draw bring cards. up a new one, draw more. <laughs> pick up this one, draw more. But <laughs> plenty of resources to go along with this. Upwards of eight, nine energies in the discard pile. So plenty to potentially knock out a Pokemon like this Charizard EX. Yes. I and think we, we flip the script without the, 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 the Pesendipity, but it's trying to come in anyways. Yeah, uh, it ended up being, well, I guess it wasn't as much of a liability as the Palkia V was, but We'll see if Kobe uh, decides to put another Pokemon down. Is going to bench that Palkia V right now off of that Nest Ball coming out of the deck. And that origin form, Palkia V, a familiar face from tons of former formats. But hey, it's still a legal card and it is in this Golden Go deck. Yeah, I really like to see this Pokemon bench at this point in time. You have the opportunity to maybe sneak in those energies onto the Radiant Greninja, find the other pieces of your deck, that canceling Cologne, yeah. and bring up that Manaphy. Take the surprise knockout on two smaller Pokemon if you don't have the reach to find all of those energies for a final closeout on a Pokemon like the final Charizard EX here. Give yourself the opportunity to find all the different avenues to victory, and Kobe is certainly driving that way. Yeah, we saw the pal pad there recycling a boss's orders as well as the Silene. Maybe we can try it again, huh, Kyle? One more time. <laughs> yes, to secure some some resources or maybe some gusting later in the game. It's going to be used. Superior energy retrieval, discarding uh, Buddy Buddy Poppin, as well as a Klefki there. Yeah, MVP Klefki actually has, <laughs> has been helping a lot against some of the unique matchups like the Iron Thorns. Yes. But for now, it's hitting the discard pile to get some energy out of there for Kobe into the hands. I guess I'll take seven energy. Yeah, that yeah, sounds like a winning line. That's double superior energy at retrieval now. Getting all of these energy into the hands. This is how we stack up our damage to take these giant knockouts in this matchup. And Kobe Kawasaki's on his way. Yep, Kobe throwing Woo! the bulk cards over at his opponent for a two-prize knockout at the World Championship. Seems good to me. Seems good indeed. That healthy Charizard EX, not so healthy anymore. It is being knocked out into the discard pile. Kobe Kawasaki going down two prize cards, only two left to take. We have definitely flipped the script here, Kyle, today. All right. We need uh, wombo combos at this point in time. I'm not sure what Hayato is able to come up with here, but... You have to think with a hero's cape, with a radiant Charizard, with a super rod, with all of these resources, is there some way to set up a really strong single prize knockout 
and avoid giving up these final prize cards. The Pheasantipity is a big uh, issue that we see here, but Collapse Stadium is in the hand as well. Maybe all of these Pokemon can be removed from play? Ooh, yeah, potentially. I mean, Hayato has had, I feel like, this deck completely calculated uh, in his brain here. So I'm excited to see what comes together on this turn here now, starting off with the Ultra Ball Pidgeot EX, as well as an additional card going to the discard pile here. Not sure if we've seen the Professor Turo just yet, but that inclusion could lead to a wild turn where you evolve into the Charizard, throw down the Hero's Cape on it, remove the Pheasantipity from play with the Clap Stadium, remove the Pidgeot with the Turo, and then the only options to win the game is to either boss up that three, 430 HP Charizard EX or work oh, your way no. through the little guys. Oh no, that is a little bit too much HP for me, Kyle. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> yeah, I, we don't. I don't know if we have enough bulk just yet. Well, that's gonna be a lot of dice there <laughs> if we see some damage go down. But we're still churning through this turn. We've seen the quick search that Radiant Charizard off the Ultra Ball here. Gonna have the energy attachment for the turn for Hayato. Suppose the Charizard isn't needed just yet, as we already see Kobe down to the two prize cards remaining. So Excited Heart is lined up. The, uh, the counter catcher there for the Palkia to avoid the Radiant Greninja stealing those two small knockouts. And there it is, the Turo picking up all wow. of this, the two prize Pokemon from play. What a strategy coming down here. Hiding all the cards in the hands, Kyle. I didn't even see it, but it came down. It scooped that Pokemon right up. That Radiant Charizard's now in the active position here. Collapse Stadium is in play as well. That's limiting both of our players' benches to only four Pokemon at this time. And Hayato's going to take that knockout there on the Palkia. Are we playing Pokemon Kobe's or are we strategy. playing Peekaboo? What is this? <laughs> Peekaboo. I know. That's what I'm saying. Hey, it's keeping it interesting, That's Kyle. right. It's and surprising. You know what? It's the right line. It's yes. so great to see the strategies commencing here. And what do you do if you're Kobe? Everything was lined up last turn. All of those Pokemon were available. The EX knockouts looked so juicy, and they're gone. And they're gone. <laughs> so juicy indeed. But hey, I guess Kobe had that uh, the Turo on that side too. So yes. The little Turo versus Turo <laughs> play here. You see how strong that card inclusion is into these decks. Even if you just have one of them, you can use them at these pivotal moments in these matches, and you see what a, a difference it makes in the turns that you take. And need to take a look at the discard piles. Uh, do you have any more tricks, man? <laughs> you, you, you've done so much cool stuff. There was a Thornton. There was a Forest Sealstone Charmander that knocked me out. What's going on here? Yeah, it's like, how, how is your deck this consistent still? <laughs> how many cards do you have? There's, there's even a Dusclops here. Well, at this point, the one thing we don't see on Hayato's side is a guarantee for additional draw. So perhaps an ability to disrupt the hand. Yeah, well, Collapse Stadium is out of play here now. So that Pokestop is in play. We're going to see the coin bonus first here to draw an additional card. There was two off the active goal to go as well. So a couple of cards being drawn to the hand for Kobe. But can we put something together? Night Stretcher here being used as a brand new card for us. Basic energy uh, or a Pokemon into your hand. Love to see it. Sometimes all you want is just another energy. The issue we see with the list, of course, when you play as aggressive as Kobe does, not much room to disrupt an opponent. You just hope to outpace them with aggression. Does not look like that's lined up here. So the strategy is hide, run away. Hide. End up this Radiant Greninja. Yeah. It's Buy not a little time. Yep, Radiant Greninja, 130 HP being put into the active position here as we still piece these resources together for the future of these turns. Golden Go gonna be evolved into coin bonus immediately here. And then we're gonna see that Cypher Maniacs code breaking. Search your deck for two cards, and then you put them at the top of it in any order. We still see cards like Canceling Cologne hanging in there. So if there was a world where this Pokemon hangs around, Kobe could be piecing together a great combo with that Canceling Cologne Pokemon catcher. Surprise takes some knockouts, but these are all things Hato's thinking about at this point in time. Yeah. He's counting out all the resources. Because, all right, if I do bring out Charizard, can you even knock me out? Can you do 430? I'm going to have a lot of HP. <laughs> I'm a big guy. <laughs> I'm a big guy. Yes, exactly. 
Yeah, you never really know what your opponent is going to have up their sleeve. I think Hayato has almost proven that in this sleeves. game. Yes, exactly. Well, we're going to start off with the Arvin here. We did take a look at the resources in the dis discard pile for Kobe, so I'm interested to see what Hayato chooses to do here. Radiant Charizard, uh, the Combustion Blast has already been used in the last turn. This is becoming one of my favorite games of the tournament so yeah, far. Yeah, really, Kat? Two to two prize cards, Who neck known? and neck. Who would have known here? A Golden Go would bring us such an interesting game. I guess I could have guessed that, because honestly, I didn't even expect this deck to make it this far. So that is pretty <laughs> cool. And now we're not only this far. We're in our Masters Round 10. Two prize cards to two prize cards between these players. And we are still going. That Arvin's going to bring us out that rare candy. Uh, resource as well as that defiance ban for Hayato slimming down this deck right in the end of this game. Yes, yeah, sub 10 cards remaining. The pieces, he knows all the information. Yes. But can you accumulate the resources to get the job done? It looks like it's time to pull the trigger. Rare candy into Pidgeot. There is an EX Pokemon in play. Kobe says, oh Ooh. no, I really better be around next turn. <laughs> Yes, indeed. That Pidgeot EX coming into Dusk play here. Nor. Here's the Dusknoor as well. Thankfully, First time we've seen it, I think. Yeah, we've, we've seen a lot of Pokemon evolved, but the issue here is there's a lot of damage counters enough to remove a Radiant Greninja. Exactly. That Dusknoor being evolved. The Charizard EX coming into play as well. These energy being placed down here for Hayato. Oh my gosh, still a huge hand. It just feels like all of the resources have just been there this whole time for Hayato, even if they're being drawn off the Pokestop. All right, is there a play then? Maybe Dusknor knock out, but don't take the prize cards and then walk, go into a counter catcher, but there's no resources to move the Radiant Charizard, it looks like. Well, that Hero's Cape A-Spec. Just the pass of the turn. Interesting inclusion in this deck. 100 HP on that Pidgeot EX protecting it there on the bench. But it's just a pass over to Kobe. We could have passed over the game here, potentially. Kobe Kawasaki going to have to piece things together. Radiant Char uh, Radiant Greninja in the active position right now. It was kind of holding down the fort. Origin oh. form Palkia V-Star is now in play here, Kyle. It's all just not working out. Dusclops uh, evolves into Dust North. The 90 hit points are no longer available no. for the Radiant Greninja. The Manaphy needs to be in the active spot to remove the canceling cologne, but then you lose the weakness exactly. that you have on the Radiant Charizard uh, for the knockout. Wow, that is rough. That is quite rough. Well, we're still going to do some coin bonus. Hey, when in doubt, Kyle, you got a coin bonus, if you right? Draw a card. Draw some cards. Draw some Maybe cards it'll spark here. something. <laughs> spark some inspiration. And in where we go for this turn here for Kobe, has Hayato been able to buy just enough time to take this game? It is coming down to the wire for both of these players. And Kobe is still piecing things together, looking at all the resources in the discard pile. Tons of cards in the hand. But are we going to be able to puzzle those together to be able to secure this game and take a 1-1 one, one in our Swiss round 10? And this is the turn. You know the Radiant Charizard resets. It has the ability to attack you next turn. Need to find a different Pokemon to focus on. Exactly. Are you stalling at this point? Do you bring up a Pokemon that you're not as concerned with? It's the Charizard EX. Yeah, thankfully that was a heads there on the Pokemon catcher. We're two for two now. Charizard EX joining us in the active. I guess we sacrificed the Silene flips for the Pokemon catcher flips. Switch now into that Golden Go. This one still has coin bonus available, which yes. will now be active for two cards. Woo, and very that is nice. Half of the deck. Little bonus here. There's a Dippity and a Nest Ball being drawn off of that coin bonus. Oh, we're going to see the last few resources. Oh, yeah, goodness. Look at that. What? I don't see superior energy retrieval there. What is it? It's not much. I, I, yeah. There are a lot like, of resources like a... used. Of course, the last two prize cards there Water and Irida. There's one superior in the hand. Yeah, that's three cards there left in the deck. Night Stretcher is going to be able to get one of these energy back into the hands now for Kobe. We're going to see it discarded now for the concealed card. Oh, I think he was looking for the, the Silene there. Oh, my gosh. Is and then the didn't draw it? Point? Yeah, no, it was because it was recycled back in with uh, Palpad. Well, that's not great. And there's only three cards. Lost his Wasn't orders, there? potentially stall once more, but... 
Oh, you can feel that deep breath right there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we were trying to piece things together. All the coin bonuses possible, but it's not a Pidgeot EX. It's not a four seal stone. It's just drawing cards, hoping for the best. You can dwindle down your deck as much as possible to, to get those percentages, but it's just going to be a pass here now for Kobe. We're back over to Hayato. And there is the fire oh, energy closing out this that fantastic was so close, match. The final Silene. card, the Silene. It has failed us once again, Kyle. No, but Hayato is gonna take things down, become our winner here in our Swiss round ten.